In this video, I am going to show you how we can convert the single activity app into the MVVM architecture which is recommended by Google. I will also relate this architecture with the MVVM diagram which is here. So we will relate our architecture with this diagram step by step at each layer. So let's get started. Here is our classic drink suggesting app which is used in previous architecture tutorials MVC and MVP. You can check out the videos from the link above. In this app, user will click on the button provided to get the drink and the drink is shown to the user after some progress. So here is the diagram of the MVVM architecture. In this architecture, activity or fragment is view, view model is obviously as the name suggests view model and the repository and underlying layers is the model so the first thing we need to create is the model which is this repository so i am going to make a new class named as main repository This class main repository will contain the main business logic of our application which is suggesting the different drinks to the user which is this the long executing task as a background task so let us uh, move this uh, business logic into the main repository first. From here, we need to remove the Android specifics first, removing the progress bar. And uh, now we need to remove the updating on the UI thread. This is our a list of drinks. So let's copy and paste it here. This is the long executing task. So this is a one second sleep of thread so that it can mimic a server request. Let's remove this method because it is no longer available. So this is the business logic. So the repository, the model is completed for now. So let's move on to the view model. So I'm going to create a new class and name it as main view model and extend this class with the view model provided by Google. So in this class, let's create a empty constructor here first. Let's move on to the diagram. So in this diagram, as we can see, that view which is our this main activity so it is communicating with the view model which contains live data so it is responsible of updating the activity or fragment or view in our case live data are two things first is the progress bar and the second thing is text view so let's first create the live data member variables in the view model so it will the type will be mutable live data make it as integer because it will be our member variable of the progress mutable data and another one is as a string we need to pass and this will be our drinks mutable data first we need to initialize this mutable live data in the constructor so let's initialize it with uh, posting the value so this is the progress bar we need to make it visible or invisible so this will be view dot first make it 
invisible and then we have to update the drinks mutable data and posting its value as empty so the next thing is the view needs to update its text view and progress bar from the live data view model so we need to create an observable here for getting the observed value of the progress bar and the drinks so these will be separate methods so the return type will be live data integer and then we have get progress it will return the mutable data and the next method will be live data and we need to get the drinks mutable data so this will be the string and get drink or get drink return drinks okay so we have created an observables here now we need to create a observe method in the main activity so that this main activity can communicate the first thing will be making a instant member variable of the main view model m view model and now after that this is the very important step so in order to create a view model instance first we need a gradle dependency from the android architecture components so this is the gradle dependency for the view model class sync the project now we can create a instance variable of the view model class m view model is equal to and then we need to create a new view model provider and in the constructor we need to pass this activity and then we have to retrieve the view model class this will be our main view model dot class the view model instance is now created so let's observe the progress bar first dot get progress dot observe the first thing is the owner is our this activity and the next thing is new observe observer this is the callback whenever the progress bar is updated in the view model in here this mutable live data gets updated this callback will be called so this is the integer value of the invisible or visibility so let's update the progress bar in here setting the visibility and passing the integer next thing we need to observe is the drink observe lifecycle owner is this new so let's update this with the drink name let's update the text view set text as drink name now we need to update the on click listener of this button when the user clicks on the button we need to get the drinks from the view model let's first create a method here to get the drinks so this will be our method as void or we can say suggest new drink let's call this method from the activity first view model suggest new drink this method is responsible for getting the drink from the model 
which is this one so we need to call the repository member variable let's first create the member variable of the repository which is main repository m main main repository and then initialize it in the constructor of the view model now we can call the method here this is the method of the repository suggest new drink in order to get the response back from the repository we need to create some kind of callback from it so that when the callback is fired we can update the mutable live data so let's first create a callback in the repository class here we need to create a public interface let's call it i drink callback so there will be only one method that will be on drink suggested we can also use another method that if anything any error comes up or exception is raised we can call that method here and in the drinks we need to pass the drink name as a string which is this we need to pass that drink callback from here we need to update the suggest new drink method first here so update the argument with the argument i drink callback this is our drink callback and when the drink is suggested we need to fire this callback so it's pass this callback here that it is implemented in this view model these will be two responses from our drink callback so the first one is the drink is suggested and the second one is the error occurred suggest a new drink while it is working in background first we need to show the progress to the user so let's update the mutable live data of the progress bar and make it as view dot visible to show it to the user when the drink is returned from the repository we need to update the progress bar to be invisible so m progress bar to posting the value as view dot invisible and then we have to update the live data of the drinks post value and then pass the drink name our communication is now completed so let's run the application at this stage the application is running now if we click on this button it is showing the progress and the drink is shown to the user this completes our video with the mvvm architecture thumbs up for this video if you like this one and don't forget to hit the subscribe button